This is an instructional video on how the sequence of tenses works in Latin. Let's look at a sentence and analyze why it doesn't make sense. I see what you will have done. I see is in the present tense, meaning it is happening now. You will have done is in the future perfect tense, meaning it hasn't happened yet, but will. The question here is, how can you see what someone hasn't even done yet? So we fix this problem by using the appropriate sequence of tenses. We'll keep I see in the present tense and change you will have done to the perfect tense you have done. That way, the timeline in the sentence makes sense. Let's look at this sentence next to the sequence of tenses chart. This chart is the key to using the right tense at the right time. First, we look at the main verb. What tense is it in? Then, we decide if the second verb happens at the same time as or before the main verb. Because I see is in the present tense, and what the person did happened before I saw it, the tense we should use for you have done is the perfect subjunctive tense. Let's look at another one. Again, we start with the tense of the main verb. Then, we'll decide if the second verb happens at the same time as or before the main verb. I had eaten is in the pluperfect tense. Because you were making is ongoing in the past, we can assume it happens at the same time as the main verb. Thus, we would use the Latin imperfect subjunctive. Let's look at one more. He will shoot what you hunt. Just like the other two, we look at the main verb first. Then we decide about the timeline for the rest of the sentence. He will is in the future tense. Then, at the same time as you hunt, he will shoot the prey. Thus, we use the Latin present subjunctive to convey our meaning. If we are applying this further to Latin, using the he will shoot what you hunt example, the main things to remember are these. First, the first verb may be indicative or subjunctive. It is independent of the second verb. Next, the second verb is subjunctive, just like the chart says. Finally, if you follow the chart for the sequence of tenses, you will have more success in translating the Latin. Let me know if you need further help understanding the sequence of tenses. Created using Powtoon.